Good morning, guys. It's Jonathan with One Big Eight Magazine. Um, I'm going to talk about something that I think is extremely important that I, I guess I really never took into consideration since I focused on, you know, changing my life. And I don't think it's just the idea of changing my life for a healthier perspective, um, to a healthier perspective, you know, I think, you know, regardless, we all get off track and whether we find ourselves in a situation to where we're eating poorly or maybe going out too much and partying or maybe our workouts aren't on point at the time or you're wandering around with no specific goal or driven. Regardless of all that, I think it's really important that we remember uh, some key factors in life, some very important key factors that I feel like I have adopted during uh, my journey. I don't know how long you've been following me. Um, but a few, sh not even, not even a year ago, um, I was in a position to where, you know, I was, I, a couple, of, you know, I was, I was living very, very, Menial, menial. Um, I remember Ellen. You know, I was like, man, I wish I could afford a steak. She sent me twenty bucks. I got a steak. Now I'm at the point where I can buy my own steak, and it seems silly, but to me, it's not. What I've noticed along the way, through whether it's reading self-help books, um, listening to motivational videos, um, working on you know, trying to build myself uh, a better foundation for who I am. I have found that there are some very important things during this process that we have to understand. Um, one of which is uh, the idea of you know, believe in you can. I lost my train of thought. I had something really important that I wanted to say about that. The, the, the you can really have a defeating mindset. You can have a defeating mindset on the aspect of I can do something, I can't do something, it must be nice, it will be nice. The way you look at things has a massive effect on what you do or don't achieve. If somebody comes to me and they say, I can't lose weight, um, they're right. They can't. If somebody comes to me and says, I can lose weight, they're right. They can. One of the biggest things that I've noticed that I am best at is instilling just a little bit of belief in people. Just like walking over and flipping that switch on for them. Yesterday was a good example. Um, I have a new client. His name's Thomas. Um... We had to do a deadlift max, and we went through, because he's a power lifter, and we're working on bringing up his numbers, um, 
Yesterday we pulled a deadlift max. Uh, last year his deadlift max was 505. He didn't know if he was like above. Well, he, got, he obviously thought he was above that. Um, but he hadn't pulled anything for a while and didn't really know kind of where he was at and stuff like that. So I had him write a number. We pulled 505, which was his previous max, or 500, which is his previous five pounds off his previous max, right? I had him write a number on his hand, and then I wrote a number on my hand. And I said, write what you think your max is going to be. Right. I've only had two sessions with this guy. No clue. I gauged it off of how he pulled the 500. It was a little bit grindy, but it looked good. I said, this guy's got more in him than he thinks. And I knew he was going to undershoot his number. So the number I put on my hand, right there, still there, I have not showered, was 545. The number he put on his hand was 525. Now, obviously, maybe you can chalk that up to, well, you're a trainer and this and that. Maybe you know a little bit on, uh, you know, the, the, the this and that. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with that. I don't think, Thomas, like a lot of us, a lot of you, give yourself enough credit and think that you're capable of what you truly are. I slapped on 545 on the bar. And then I sat there for a second. And I said, if he could pull 545, he could pull 550. So I slapped a little two and a half pound weight on his side. I told him, don't look at what's on the bar. Don't pay attention to what the weight is. Just lift it. Do your best. He pulled it. He pulled 550. I looked at his number. It was 525. Mine was 545. My education said 545 was his number. My belief in him said 550. Now what I did, I feel, by doing that, is we raised his understanding and his confidence in his abilities. The guy's strong. You're talking first numbers, 550. First squat, 475. First bench, 275. These are great numbers. I think it goes to show that sometimes your ability is a hell of a lot stronger than your mind. Your mind is a major limiting factor on all things that you're going to do. Sometimes you have to rely on your ability and shut your mind down. I think when we focus on achieving things, sometimes our, our doubts and our mishaps and our failures get in the way. You guys, I'm a 200 pound plus dude. I'm currently training for like some powerlifting and bringing up my numbers. And I ran a marathon a few months back, six months ago. When I started off running, it was difficult for me to run a mile. I'm not in a position to run a marathon right now. I'm not saying that. And I never had an intention on running a marathon until I would ran a half marathon. And I figured, you know, if I ran a half, I can run a whole. The biggest thing on your healthy journey is to understand and believe that you can do virtually, not anything, let's be realistic, virtually anything you want to achieve within reason. You can't jump to the moon. Okay.
you have to be very careful about not only the people you surround yourself with, but also how you say things. It's extremely important. I talk to people all the time. They say, it must be nice to travel. It must be nice to do this. It must be nice to work three days a week and get by and have freedom like that. It must be nice to do this. It must be nice to do that. I don't have everything. I live in a small apartment. If you guys looked at where I came from four, five, six, seven years ago, I've come a long way. I remember just a few short years ago, I was begging for money on, not money, but um, food for my kids on Craigslist. People brought Boo a bike for Christmas. People are amazing. You know? And you are people. Having an online presence is really hard sometimes. People are mean. And I'll be completely honest, I've been that guy. I've said mean things to people online. I've done it. I'm, I'm a troll at times. But I've also been a good troll at times. If I were to think back um, a few years ago, I got heavy in school, different things. This is one of the first times I've ever been lived on my own. This is the first time I've ever lived on my own. I had kids since I was very young. It's a lot of damn time. A lot of time not doing anything. I do a lot of goal setting. I go to the gym a lot. I do some cardio. Probably need to do more.
I think one of the single most important factors that you're ever going to learn is that you have to, like I said before, be careful about what you say. You can travel, you can lose weight, you can do all of these things. 